Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> are we ready buddy we're ready are you ready how's it going folks <laughs> oh i stole your line that's okay i'm reading off the prompter right right <laughs> there's our prompter right there <laughs> jeff the cameraman the prompter oh. how's it going everybody we are sitting in the shop tonight back with another video we're going to do a comparison on two knives tonight the Bubba. The Bubba. Cordless. And finally, Jeff Fafa bought the Rapala Cordless. So we're gonna use same blades, they fit in both knives. So we're gonna use the same blades, so we're trying to make this as yep. even as possible. Yep. As fair as possible. We'll see. Yep. One other thing we want to talk about before we get, in, get into filleting these walleyes, which this is a how-to for somebody that doesn't necessarily know how to fillet a walleye, because we are going to be filleting walleyes, is we are going to do our first giveaway. And what we are giving away is 50 bucks worth of Potter's hair jigs. Blackbeard Tackle Black Company. Blackbeard Tackle Company. They're the jigs you are going to be receiving. The weight on those is three eighths. Three eighths, which is you know very standard weight for most people for hair jigs. Uh, Potter threw in a nice assortment of colors that have all caught fish. Yes, which is great. Um, but yeah, thank you, Potter. You're welcome. So you owe me. <laughs> it never ends, folks. I for some reason always owe him. But anyway, so how? you are eligible to win the hair jigs and this will be for all of my giveaways and I've done a bunch of research on this to make sure this is done right. So you have to be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Number one, it's a two-step thing. It's really simple. You have to be a subscriber or subscribe to it if you haven't subscribed to it yet and you have to comment in this video, this video in particular, and the comment in the video needs to be hair. Four letters, H-A-I-R. We are gonna give the hair jigs away on March 13th. Cameraman doesn't have any. Oh my God. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying the right date? March 13th? March 13th. March 13th. Yep, we're going to give away Monday, March 13th. Uh, we're going to cover the shipping, so we're going to ship them right to your house. Um, I'll do an announcement on YouTube and the rest of my social media pages, which I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Um, as far as who the winner was, obviously I will contact you to get your address and congratulate you. And we'll get them shipped out to you right away so you can use them this spring and early summer. So that's going to be our first giveaway, and we have a bunch more to come. So I appreciate everybody subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, push the subscribe button. Um, but now we're going to get into how to fillet a walleye in the comparison of these two knives. So Sounds good. I'll let Potter take it from here. All right, we're going to start with the Bubba, because that's what got the blades in there right now. Right off the bat, I love the texture. I don't know. Oh, do we want to talk about the cases? You want to talk about the cases? Sure. Okay. Why not? So this is the Bubba case. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Both the cases seem pretty yep. nice. Seem well built. You do get four blades with the Bubba. Yep. Which is nice. Two the, batteries. Two batteries, the charger. charger. Yep. The knife. Yep. And then the Rapala. You get... Another nice case. You get instruction manual. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Fafa needs that. You get your charger, second battery, and one extra set of blades. They're the short six inch blades. And it comes with yeah, the six and the eight inch or whatever it is. Gotcha. So you do get two extra sets of blades with the bubba. Yep. Okay, let's get the 
Let's get the show on the road. Uh, feels like I just did this. <laughs> All right. What happened to your hair? I had to take it off. It was getting itchy. I had to shave. <laughs> so, got a nice wall right here. <laughs> Keep it on the board. <laughs> it ain't gonna last. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> no. Okay. Rib cage Rib out. Rib cage out. So we kept all males today. We think. Come on. Dude. All right, I'm pushing to try to cut faster. Sure. I have to stop doing that. That is all me. Let do the work. Well, I'm used to a corded and- So is. anything you want to explain about taking the rib cage out for anybody that doesn't? Well- Is there anything you can explain? Yeah, you know, if you're gonna do a lot of cleaning fish, grow your nails out so you can grip <laughs> or use a fork. I know a lot of people use a fork to grab, but I don't know, I'm always, I need to be hands-on. So what I do is I kind of just pin it down and you got your ribs here. They kind of come behind and you kind of just, Start going down and you kind of scoop them out. Throw it away. Easy peasy. And it's always about angles with electric knives. And like this, I'm just, I don't know, I'm trying to push. And I'm not used to this knife. All right, that's one done. This is all I get Potter to flay fish. Yeah, that's always how he does it. <laughs> so Potter, we're we gonna should, do a video. We should compare some more knives. Yeah, let's get whatever other knives are out there. See if I can remember how to do them with a, without an electric knife. So I go down that backbone like that and all that does is gives me a guide. Yep. So the knife will follow that instead of cutting through the whole spine. Nice skinny males. Mm-hmm. Perfect fish to keep. Absolutely. And then I come back and just go right through. And here I'm I'm forcing myself again. Isn't this a nice board? Isn't this a nice board? The Norwegian Craig gave this to Bernsey. What a nice the Norwegian. Oh, you guys gotta stop. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Potter, safety first. Safety first, I You forgot. need your safety glasses. Oh. I think I'm protected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hold on before Wait. you play anymore. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know. What happened, Potter? Well, that advice is coming from this guy. <laughs> Gramps, do you have anything to add to this? I think Gramps is going home. <laughs> All right, anything else you want to know, Bernsey, about how to clean a walleye? Ribs. How's your other knife work? Well, we got to do two here, Gramps, yep. and then we'll let you know. That's I mean, happened. I'll tell you. More than I thought. This. <laughs> This is, uh, we'll get there in a second. Yeah. All right. 
So I'll take the blades out. Hey, how do these come out? Like that, yep, huh? Just like that. Bubba. Now. Rapala. Right away. The neck is a lot narrower. It feels this is a big bulky knife. It's I love the texture of it, but it's bulky and it's it twice is. as heavy as it this. is. This thing is oh, it's so nice. Alright. Why don't you bonk these things in the head? <laughs> I wanted them to flop around on you a little bit. All right, let's listen. Holy cow! Listen to the revs this on that This one has thing. a little bit more juice. Okay, here we go. Which one do you think I like? So when we did the bluegill video, I said the bubble was very smooth. This is way smoother. It's 100% smoother, faster. Lighter. Lighter, skinnier. Yep. Feels better in the, and I have big hands, so I would say anybody with smaller hands, this is gonna be, I don't know, Gramps, you got small hands, right? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Gramps is bad. Gramps, Gramps, is, like so, Gramps is sore. <laughs> Like butter. Oh, so smooth. I'm telling you. I don't know what the cost difference is. I think they're very similar. I think. Yeah? Yep. Okay. I know you can get them both at Shields. Go to Shields. <laughs> Why does his belly tickle? <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I don't drink. I don't do drugs. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe I need to take up drinking. No comment on that? No, no comment. Why do I still have these glasses <laughs> They ain't doing nothing. Oh. Safety first, buddy. Safety first. Ooh. Yeah, well, I just got slime and scales in an eye. <laughs> So, Potter is done filleting. We did two walleyes with each knife, the Bubba and the Rapala cordless. Um, I personally have used the Bubba now. This would be the fourth year I've used it. I've really enjoyed the knife. Um, I do know some people that have gotten the Rapala. This is the first one that I've had my hands on personally. I have heard a lot of good things about it. About the new and one. About the, about the new one. Yep, yep, yep the R12. Um, from what I saw from this, I have not personally used this yet, but I'm going to. Right now. I am very impressed with the Rapala. But from here, I'm gonna let, let Potter give you his two cents on the two knives. My two cents is heavy, big. I love the grip on it. 
That's the one thing I absolutely love. Like on my pistols, I love texture. That has the texture. That, this one is nice. It's got the rubber here and it's got some little knobs. And this is rubber too. But if you look at the texture on that, it's like snake skin or something, you know, like, or scales or whatever. Yep, yep. Love the texture, like the texture. Hate the weight, love the weight. Not that it's, it's not like it's overly heavy, no. but compared to this, this is a boat anchor, yeah. it feels like. But it's probably half the weight. Yeah, I would say it's just about half. Yeah. Um, slow, fast. I'm trying to think of something else I like about the Bubba. I do believe, out of the two, that Rapala is a lot more smooth. I thought this was smooth when I did bluegills compared to my electric corded mm -hmm. flay knife. Yep. It was smooth but slow. So with this, I find myself trying to force right. through the fish. It's not a very fast knife. No, it's, it's slow. It, it's not. And when I clean fish, I like to go. Right. I want to just get done. Right. Um, One thing I just want to interject yep. is, so this R12 is still a very new knife. I mean, it's been on the market for a while. Yes. So as we're giving you this review and all this information about these knives, keep in mind it is still relatively new on the market. So what is the longevity of it? I don't know. Don't know. Now I can tell you this, for the amount of fish that I fillet every year with that Bubba, the thing still works great. It is definitely not the fastest knife, as I'm sure you just saw in the video, but it has worked. It has never failed me. It holds a charge unbelievably well. I could fillet a ton of fish on one battery. So that yeah. is one thing the Bubba has. It yeah. has a track record Absolutely. of a great knife. Well, the Bubba had were, issues with their first one that they, they came up. They did. They definitely Now they've did. redesigned it. They've done everything. What well, I can see so far, yeah, hopefully this thing, hopefully, hopefully it lasts. It lasts. Yep. I know all their corded stuff has always lasted because yep. yep. the one I have is probably 15 years old yep. and it's still going, you know, yep. it goes, it's going strong. Um, I want to, I'm hoping that Jeff catches more fish, flays more fish. I want to know, <laughs> we won't give it the gramps, <laughs> but the battery will last for 10 years. Maybe yeah. this battery would work in my trolling motor. Wow. Double D's. Double D's. But if I had to choose over just performance wise, not the longevity, yep. I would choose the Rapala. the Rapala. For sure. Absolutely. Hands down. Well, we're going to wrap this thing up. Remember from the beginning of the video, we're giving away 50 bucks worth of Blackbeard Tackle Company. This guy's hair jigs, we got them all packaged up, all ready for you. You just need to be a subscriber on my channel. And on this particular video, in the comment section, you have to leave the comment hair. H-A-I-R, no yep. You can comment other stuff too in a different comment, but hair. Yeah, like hair like this. <laughs> Wait, does it go like... Oh my god. It never ends. That's... That is for, that is an improvement. That is a major improvement. <laughs> oh, folks. <laughs> there are days I feel like I won the lottery being your friend, and then there are days that we just won't talk about it. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know, Hair. These, these electric <laughs> these electric knives are fantastic. They are a time saver, there's no doubt. They're an investment. So I hope the information helps you guys. Click on that subscribe button, leave a comment down below here, and we'll be sending you sending you some jigs in about 10 days. Sounds good. So but until next time on the water, tight lines and sharp knives. <laughs> <laughs>